What's up guys, Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. I am in the Experience Center, our tailgate series. This one's a good one, it's lollipop, lollipop, oh la. No, I won't even sing it, but we're doing lollipop drumsticks from chicken right here. So look, check it out gang, we got a whole ch chicken uh, leg right here. And what I did is I just scored it and I went all the way around. And now I'm just gonna use the back of the knife, apply a little pressure, cut it all the way through. A little barbaric guys, but it looks pretty cool. And then we'll push this all the way down to expose the, um, the drum right here. And then we'll get a nice little clean stick. So check out my bowl. I've done six already. So these are nice and ready to roll. Guys, you could bang out a bunch of these, get them done ahead of time. And what we're gonna do is take a little paper towel and just get off that excess moisture nice and lightly, okay? And then they'll go to season land. So check out how cool that is, you know? You could chill them, you could brine them overnight, but we're gonna get right into the fun of this and show you how to make these amazing lollipops. Let's rock and roll, okay? I'm on my induction cooktop crew. I got my parchment down. I wanna keep it nice and clean, all right? So I'm gonna turn this guy on, turn the center button. We're gonna crank it up to a seven, which is a healthy thing. And then we have probably a few inches of oil, guys. Here's the thing. Everybody's saying, uh, deep fry, deep fry. No, this is good. You can do this. It's not over, you know, it's not too much. I mean, we only got a couple inches of oil. We're not doing a big flash fry. This is simple, quick, easy. You're not wasting a ton of oil. The place isn't going to smell like crazy. It's just going to be a nice crisp, and we're going to finish them in the oven, okay? Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of pickle juice right in there. You're like, pickle juice? Yeah. Little salty, little briny, a little great there, too. Next. We're gonna add two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Put that guy right in. And this just adds a little texture, a little body to it, all right? And now we're gonna add a quarter cup of our barbecue seasoning. Guys, you can use any barbecue seasoning you want. This is just what I use. And then we're just gonna give them a couple tosses. Make sure everything coats very evenly because we'll get a nice look on this. Look how nice that is. And like I would, if I'm doing it ahead of time for a game, you know, tailgate or something like that, I would do this step the night before just to get all the zhuzh and all the fun and everything awesome on it, okay? That's done right there. Next, guys, flour. You can use cornstarch, you can use breadcrumb, but I just like white flour. I have all the seasoning I want around there and I'm gonna finish it with a little barbecue seasoning and a glaze at the end, so tune into that, all right? So what I do is I just wanna push these all down again and take the whole lollipop, push this, and just roll this guy like this, okay? Get it coated nice and easy. See how I'm shaking it? Get off all the excess. You know, you could shake them in a bag, things like that. I just like to do these ones. You're doing 100, do it, do it this way, but I just like to tap them on the side just to get the excess on right off there. See that? That's a perfect coat. And then deep frying, here's the tip. Take my fingers like this, push it down right here, just like this, and wave goodbye, okay? Once you go like this, it splashes away and doesn't splash towards you. Take your tongs, just have to rotate this around. Now see how I don't have much oil in there? Okay, nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna do the next couple just so you guys get the whole feel of it. Coat this guy again real nice. And don't overcrowd, you know what I mean? We don't have to overcrowd this. Just two couple at a time, because when we overcrowd, we're gonna you know, make the temperature in the pot go up, and now we're almost, you know, we lose that heat that we want. And then it almost just blanches, not fries. See how crispy mine's getting so quickly? That's what you wanna do, you know? Just like this. I got six, I'm only doing three right now. I'm gonna rinse my hand real quick. Okay. Get a towel, and here's the thing about it. If you guys have induction at home, look at my parchment paper. You got it right here, it's gonna keep everything nice and clean. Look at that, right? And if you're like, whoa, 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 chef, that looks pretty high, things like that, induction's your best friend, crew. We can lower it just with the touch of a button. We can take it down to a four, something that's a little more relative, okay? That's sweet. Next, while we got those three working, I'm gonna talk about my pickle chips. So 
I put the pickle juice in. I got to use the chip somehow, okay? Let's put it in. Let's grab a tablespoon or two of flour, just like this. We'll toss this guy. And then we're going to fry some pickle chips. You can use an egg wash if you want, guys. I'm just going straight flour, and I'm going to finish them with a little barbecue rub, okay? Look how nice that looks. Just let them soak because, you know, pickles have high moisture. Just keep tossing them around there, and they're going to keep coating and getting real nice in that. So let's look at this. These guys look great. Look at that. Look at that, huh? It's looking nice. The skin's blistering. It's exactly what we want. Let's take them back up. Chef's going to coat my next three. All right. The best part is, guys, we want to achieve the crispiness here, and then we're going to finish it in the oven to cook. Because being that they have a bone, man, they're going to actually take a little bit. And the worst thing to do at your tailgate is serve undercooked chicken. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to eat that. You know, they're going to say, where's your grilling game? Where's your frying game? Chef, you're a little stronger than that. You can finish them out right, right there. But my method in the oven is foolproof, especially when you're doing it for a large crowd, gang, okay? Let's pull this one out. That friend's ready, okay? Look at that. We're gonna place it on a rack, just like that. And the reason why I do a rack and a sheet tray, a couple reasons, gang, it's gonna give it that air underneath, but it doesn't sit in that grease, so the bottom is gonna be nice and crispy as well, so check that out. Pretty sweet. All right, I take one out, I put one in, just remember where I put him, okay? This guy ready too, great color on that. Look at the nice, perfect, all right. Monkey see, monkey do right here. Put that in, put my last guy in. Look at that, perfect. Let's check these pickle chips out. Toss these guys around, fire these in, a couple at a time too. We don't want to overcrowd this, you know? But we're boiling at a nice temperature. While I talk about that, gang, we're going to talk about thermometer. You guys need a nice thermometer to get an internal read on here. Depending on your make and model and what you've purchased from Don's, you guys can use the roast probe in there for chicken wings. It'll save your life in the oven. It'll give you the internal temp right on the money every time. Okay? Move these guys around. Sure smells like fried chicken here. You guys getting real excited. A few more minutes on that. A couple more of my chips. Can't go wrong with that. All right, gang. Our chips floating to the top. They're good. We're gonna pull out our little chip garnish right now. Fire them right here on a nice paper towel just to soak up any of that extra grease. And look, we're doing it right on the cooktop because we have the induction lined with the parchment, keeping our world nice and clean. All right, just like this, this, this. Okay, put that to the side. Top it with a little bit of barbecue rub. And we can snack on them, okay? <laughs> That'll be good. All right, next gang, we got our chop, we got our lollipops here. Awesome looking. We are gonna put them in the oven, okay? So we're gonna give them a double dunk. So we glaze them right now, just like this. Woo! Okay, perfect. Look how cool that is, huh? And I didn't do the top just for a reason. You'll see at the end, just like that. Okay, we're gonna pop these right in a preheated oven. And they're going to bake for the rest of 15 minutes, and then we're going to glaze them to serve them. So check out how cool that looks. Woohoo! Come on, follow me, crew. Follow me, crew. We're at 375, and like I said, gang, this is going to take 15 minutes right on the middle rack. See you in 15. All right, gang, timer's off. 15 minutes. Let's look at these guys. Pretty nice, pretty good. Let's bring them over to the cooktop. Let's make some magic with these. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Here it is, gang. Reason number 7,265,000. Why to have an induction cooktop? It's all clean, wiped down super easy. 
Check those out. Now, I got our sauce. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of soy to it, okay? Soy's gonna give it like a little bit of color, a little bit of amber, and just give it a nice little finished coat. Boom, I'll put it right here. And now, we'll get our dip on these beautiful chickens just like this, look at this. And now, we'll tilt it just so we get everything coated. Okay, look at that. Boom. That's one candy apple. Candy chicken apple. Just toss this just like this. Look. Boom. And if you want to serve the sauce on the side, I mean, these guys look great like this. You know what I mean? You can keep them like that. I'll do three with and three without, just so you see the difference when I plate them up here, okay? There's another coder. There it is. Look at that. Boom. Okay, now we have those all set up. Here's our fried pickle chip we just reserved, kept warm. Look at that. Just put some of these down the center, some of these on the edge. Have some fun with it. You could serve a dip on the side with that too. But see these guys without the sauce? These are the ones I hit real close with the rub. Look at that. Then the other ones that have the candy on them and have the seasoning. I just season them up real high like that. And that looks great. Guys, there's your finished product. Little pickle chips, a little great, you know, chicken lollipop, lollipop. Only one thing left to do, but to do it. Okay. I don't know. What am I going to do? I got to eat one, right? That's good. Guys, look at the crispy chicken. Cooked all the way through. Really nicely done. Just a great, it's like a big wing, man. It's the best way to describe it. You like wings? You're going to love these. All right, guys. Like the tailgate recipe. Share, share the tailgate recipe. Follow the tailgate series. Enjoy your tailgate. Just enjoy it with the Dawn's crew. Thanks, guys. And I'll be eating chicken wings. Wow. I'll eat this all day.